Hi everyone, happy Monday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our last break of the day. This is the last non-national break we can do. We'll be, uh, we'll be uh, traveling on Tuesday and we'll be back here Wednesday morning from Atlantic City. And we'll do all those national related breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So big thanks to everybody uh, in the last couple days. Uh, thanks for helping us kind of clean up the site a little bit and just, so now we can just focus on national related breaks. No breaks have to be canceled. We don't have to uh, refund anybody for non-national breaks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here we go on Monday the 25th. There's everybody right here. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler. Kobe got the uh, last spot mojo with the Jets before uh, we pulled those two teams out for the filler. Break eight is the second half of the case that Jason popped open. So one, two, three, four, five, six boxes right here. We're looking for rated rookies. We're looking for that one autograph. Good luck. I don't remember what popped out of the first half of this case. Let's see what we got here in the second half of the case. Good luck. Now we're we're getting to a pretty exciting part of the of the sporting calendar, ladies and gentlemen. We got training camp starting for a lot of teams. Next thing you know, we'll be starting to see some preseason games, and then we'll have the NFL season starting. The end of the baseball season, heading into baseball playoffs, basketball preseason, hockey preseason. We'll be in an excellent part of the sports calendar. Any, any big football news happening here? Oh, NFL Plus. What does everyone think about that? They launched their new streaming service, which looks interesting. Um, I like it because my team, the Las Vegas Raiders, are technically an out of market it is an out of market team for me so if i get that package i'll be able to watch my raiders every week i know it's another streaming service adam nfl plus i think they'll probably black out local games so like they're usually on your local tv station anyway so i think they might do that but that it does appeal to a consumer like myself where my team is out of market I'll read that ESPN article in the next box, but some of you may have seen it. All right, good luck, everybody. Uh, all card ship. Tillon Wallace to 299. Our shipping team will sleeve and top load all of those just in the interest of time. We'll set those aside. Ooh, that's a nice start. Mac Jones autograph. So that's going to be for Sean Maddock and the Patriots. 32 out of 50. Nice pink lasers. Or velocity. What do they call it nowadays? That's a good start. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break, too. We've got Justin Fields. 70 out of 99 rated rookie card for the Bears. Alex with that one. We got Joseph Osai, 75 out of 199. And we got Drew Bledsoe for Sean and the Patriots. That's a 299. We got a gold Jalen Hurts. That's a nice low number. Five out of 10. For the Fly Eagles Fly, that's going to be for Brody. <laughs> Thursday Night Football exclusively on NFL Plus. Although Amazon has, yeah, there's a lot of exclusives. Amazon has Thursday nights, right? I wonder if M NFL Plus will let us see Amazon games. I doubt it. 
if my Raiders are playing, if my Raiders are playing um, on a Thursday night game, it's Jameis Winston. There's Elijah Moore rated rookie and a Zach Wilson rated rookie. Let's leave that one up right away. Maybe we'll see some parallels here. Kobe has the Jets. But yeah, I'll bet NFL Plus, if my Raiders are playing Thursday night, I'm not gonna be able to use NFL Plus. They're gonna be like, you watch it on. I, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll bet national games will probably also be blacked out, right? This is like, if I'm watching the Raiders on a 125 game or something like that. So according to the Associated Press, the NFL is making its move into offering its own media streaming platform. The league announced that NFL Plus launched on Monday, today. Owners were briefed about it during a league meeting in May, while Brian Rolap, the NFL's chief media and business officer, confirmed it in a column for Sports Illustrated last week that it would be starting this season. The commish said in a phone interview with the associate president, the direct-to-consumer offering gives the league the ability to understand what fans and non-fans are seeking in terms of content and customize it for them. We think it's a major phone, blah, 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 blah. Launch of NFL Plus comes as 15 comes as 15 games on Thursday and will be carried exclusively on Amazon Prime. The Sunday ticket package of it, out of market Sunday games currently will expire at the end of the season. That's right, Sunday ticket's going to be gone. Amazon, Apple, and Google have emerged as front runners to take over the rights that Directv has held since 1994. NFL Plus will allow fans to, to view out of market preseason games on all devices, local and national regular season and preseason. Check that local and national regular season postseason games on mobile devices, team and national radio feeds. I do enjoy listening to a game on the radio every once in a while. NFL network shows on demand, along with NFL films archive. Ooh. It could also uh, include content produced by teams. You'll be able to be accessed through the NFL app and website. This is an upgrade to the Game Pass service that has been available to fans since 2015. So I think we're st you're still getting uh, the all 22 views, I think condensed games, blah, 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 blah. The key to the package is the live regular season and playoff games. The league regained the mobile rights after its contract with mobile carriers expired at the end of last season. I'll tell you about pricing in the next box. That's what's called a professional uh, radio tease there. 31 out of 179, Chaz Surratt. Coming up in the next box, how much does NFL Plus cost? We'll tell you next. There's Tyree Kill to 199. There's Joe Tryon Shoyinka, 203 out of 299 for the Bucks. There's Steve Young, Buccaneers edition, 21 out of 99 for Jose. Dak Prescott, 10 out of 50. Rated rookie, hollow, Greg Newsom. That's Trey Lance, rated rookie card for Sean Maddock and the Niners. Allen Robinson to 179. Steve Young again, 002 out of 299. And your autograph looks like a panther. Is going to be Chuba Hubbard, rated rookie autograph, going to Patrick and Carolina. One twenty seven out of one fifty. And we've got a Devontae Parker, forty nine out of seventy nine for Miami. That'll be for Angel and the Dolphins. Next box.
All right, so how much is this going to cost us, ladies and gentlemen? How much is NFL Plus going to cost us? NFL Plus will be available for $4.99 a month or $39.99 a year. That's not bad. Oh, but there's a, pre there's a premium package which includes the full and condensed game replays as well as coaches film. That's $10 bucks a month, $9.99 a month or $7.99 a year, which is still cheaper than Game Pass, which was $100 bucks a year. Hmm. I like that. I think I'll buy it. NFL Plus will... Uh, uh, oh, looks like NFL Plus, if you get season tickets for your team, you'll get it for free. We've had our toe in the water with Game Pass, but this is our next step forward, says Hans Schroeder, the executive vice president of NFL Media. We think this will be attractive for fans and sort of bring down the price point for fans on a monthly basis, which is true. Thanks. Thanks, Hans. Uh, there is an eye on future content down the road. We're excited to see where this can go this year and beyond. Goodell recently said the league is hoping to make a decision about signing a ticket and possibly selling an equity stake in NFL media properties by the end of the year. Maybe uh, maybe Jaspies has to build a media company. What about Jaspies Media? Jaspie TV? Broadcasting uh, select games? Yeah, that, that's what the, that's according to the Associated Press. Are you a season ticket holder, Adam? I know some of you are. So if there's, if you uh, renewed your season tickets, you know, make sure you talk to your, uh, your salesperson. Make sure you get that NFL Plus. I don't know what level you get. You do have season. Okay, yeah, I don't know what level you get. The article is not clear. But check in with your, with your salesperson. Be like, yo, give me my NFL Plus. Hopefully premium edition. Is Jerry Judy to 179? We got Robert Tanyan to 199. What was that? I put a square in there. Oh, nice, okay. We got a Tyreek Hill gold, nice. 10 out of 10. Like seeing those low numbers. Still Chiefs edition. That's going to go to. It's going to go to Dean. Trayvon Morig to 199 for my Raiders. That is Jeffrey with my Raiders. The rookies Trey Lance right there. Marvin Jones Jr. to 299 for the Jaguars. Another uh, rookie card insert for Sean and the Niners. Hopefully you can find some uh, low numbered parallels of his. 20 out of 125, Tyler Higby for the Rams. We got Amari Cooper to 299. Still Cowboys edition there. Terrace Marshall Jr. to uh, 279. And the autograph is Tillon Wallace. Pink parallel. Ravens. Mike has the Baltimore Ravens. And you get the uh, 46 out of 50 Tillon Wallace. Hmm. They put that over here now. The autograph is guaranteed by, it's usually down here. Looks like they're doing all of them. All right, we're halfway through this uh, half case break. We need to get a sponsorship. All right, see you, Mike. We need to get a sponsorship with uh, with NFL Plus, right? Enter the code Jaspi for a free month of. NFL Plus. What other uh, top headlines are in the NFL? Chicago mayor proposes a dome for Soldier Field. All 
Are we are we heading towards a point where where there's gonna be a dome for every NFL team? That's what owners want. That's what TVs want, probably. You get more people there. You can do events at the stadium year-round in cold weather areas. Are we getting to a point where there's a lot more stadiums that... Hmm. How many stadiums have domes and, not, and no domes? Do most stadiums have domes now? Are we, are we heading towards an all-dome situation, especially in cold weather states? NFL... Stadiums wiki. Can I sort by roof type? I can. So one, two, three, four, five stadiums are fixed roofs, pure domes. It's Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Caesar Superdome in New Orleans, Ford Field in Detroit, SoFi here in LA, and then US Bank Stadium are all fixed domes. I guess a lot of teams still have open, open stadiums. Acrisure Stadium, which is the Steelers' new, new name now, open. Arrowhead's open, Carolina Field's open, Denver, Washington, Cleveland, New England, Miami, Buffalo, all open. Green Bay, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Seattle, Baltimore, New York, Tennessee, Cincinnati, all open, Tampa Bay, Chicago, Jackson. I guess it's a lot more open than I thought. That makes sense. And then retractable, Dallas is retractable, Colts are retractable. Atlanta, Houston, and Arizona, all retractable. It's Chris Godwin to 199. Noah Fant to 299. And the autograph popping early here. Tommy Tremble. That is for Carolina. That's going to be for Patrick and the Panthers. 41 out of 50. Alvin Kamara, My House, Hollow. There's Dwayne Eskridge to 99 for the Seahawks. There's a Mac Jones and a 4 out of 25, Richie Grant. Low number parallel for Riley and the Falcons. A nice Mac Jones here as well, rated rookie card. I don't know if this is more of a shorter print or not, but I'll send that to all card chip, but that'll go to Jake and the Saints. Jamar Jefferson to 299 for the Lions. Lamar Jackson, nice little color match here. 36 out of 50, purple parallel for the Purple Birds. He could have a big season this year. That's Davis, uh, that'll go to Mike and the Ravens. This Davis Mills rated rookie will go to Roy and the Texans. Matt Ryan to 299. Falcons edition there. Vaughn Miller, Broncos edition to 125. Go to Denver, that'll be for EA. Frank Darby, rated rookie hollow. Two boxes to go. Kobe crossing his fingers for a downtown Zach Wilson. That would be nice. Those downtown cards have nice, accurate depictions of what each downtown city looks like. I think there will be a trend. I think for the colder weather stadiums, I think you're going to start to see a trend towards a, towards a dome. Bengals president saying, whole focus is to extend, bro, of course. Uh, Matt Rule saying, quarterback battle will result in wins for the Panthers. I think that's a um, 
Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold battle, right? Who do you think wins that quarterback battle? Jaguars confidence Trevor Lawrence makes a year two leap. I agree. That was kind of a lost rookie year for Trevor Lawrence with all that co coaching drama. Dolphins Raheem Mostert clear from injury. It's go time, he says. What other news here? Jaguars, James Robinson, running back James Robinson, Achilles, avoids putt list to start camp. Stafford saying he's definitely knocking off some rust. In training camp, right? Everyone's just like, please God, everyone just stay healthy until week one of the season. For the Bears, we got legendary logos. Hollow. Justin Fields, that's going to be for Alex and the Bears. I like that old logo there. It's back here. Darius Slayton for the Giants to 199. Chase Claypool to 299. And the autograph, another Panther, Terrace Marshall Jr. That is for Patrick. Fifteen out of fifty on that one. We got Asante Samuel Jr. to one twenty-five. What is Chewie's birthday today? It's Kenny Galladay to fifteen. Nice little number there. That's for the New York Football Giants. That's going to be for Jake. Javante Williams to 179. Kine Wongwu to 299. There's a Mac Jones, white hot rookies insert. Tyler Higby to 79. All of these Mac Joneses, of course, going to uh, Sean Maddock in New England. Throwing cards around here. There's Tannehill to 179 for the Titans. Ryan Lynn. <laughs> I sleeve that. Uh, no offense to, to, to Ryan. Tannehill. All right, and the last box coming up. No, I, I hear you, Kobe. I hear it. I hear you. It is a, it is a tough chase. What do you think about this? NFL Unnamed NFL defensive corner says, if Lamar Jackson has to pass to win the game, they ain't winning the game. What do you think about that? I hear you, Ryan. Uh, please, please, no, uh, no offense to Patrick Davis, but 
think the crew wants to see uh, something other than a Carolina Panthers autograph. This break actually went a little bit faster than I thought. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. I think the auto is right here, so let's see. We got Sam Allinger for the Colts to 199 for Will. Will with the blue horseshoes. There's our first Trevor Lawrence. Julio Jones to 299. T-Law going to Sean Maddock. Got Heinz Ward to 125. Kellen Mond. 33 out of 50. Nice little color match there. Purple uniform, purple parallel. Minnesota, Adam Copperman. Purple rain, purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. That's the auto right there. There's Russell Wilson, Seahawks edition to 199. Quinn and Williams to 299 for the Jets. Baker Mayfield, I like that the old Browns elf there. Kirk Cousins to 99. We got a Jameis Winston to 179 for the Saints. Kenneth Gainwell, rated rookie card back there. All right, so behind rated rookie. Uh, for the Packers, Eric Stokes. The autograph is going to be... Shane Bouchelle, rated rookie. Autograph for the Chiefs. That's going to be for Dean. Should be a low number, too. Yeah, out of 15. Not a panther. There you go, gang. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Keep your eye out for more football in the store. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll dig up some more football once we're at the National. So this is a nice Mac Jones in here, too. This is our last break of the day um, until the National. So we won't be live on Tuesday. We'll see you Wednesday morning. Thanks, everybody. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.